Well, as you can probably imagine, I've been pretty nervous to get up on this stage and speak with everyone. And, you know, it's a huge opportunity as a First Nations person to have the opportunity. Um, you've heard a bit about me. I'm an Aboriginal artist um, who, by blood, by skin, and by ancestry, connects back to this land. And, you know, I'm 27. But what the hell do I know that makes me an expert? You see, I'm an expert of my experiences and of my culture and the lens that it has on the creative industry. You see, I live that every day, so to me that doesn't seem so unique. But the thing is, we're all unique. But despite our varied and unique intersects, we are all still battling the bias that history has placed on us and continues to place on us. And we're still second guessing ourselves if we're female or if we're Aboriginal or if we're an artist as opposed to a heart surgeon. But as an Aboriginal artist, I have just as big a job as a heart surgeon. Our existence and our survival as Aboriginal people depends on people like myself and it depends on the people and the communities that I work with. You, you might think that, well, you know, I had a whole speech kind of, you know, prepared, <laughs> completely forgot everything, but, you know, the thing is, with what I'm doing, it's all about kind of representing First Nations people, and it's about giving ourselves a voice and representing ourselves. And too often we're stuck in the structures that are given to us by governments, by society, by biases, and, you know, we don't really acknowledge the history and the culture that we have as First Nations people and, you know, the experiences that we have that we have been able to survive for 60,000 years. And, you know, it, it's, it's really emotional for me to stand up here because I've been given this opportunity that, you know, my ancestors, my grandmother was not given. And the thing is, Art and design is such a powerful tool in connecting people and connecting culture. You know, we're living in a country where Aboriginal children, as young as 12 years old, are taking their own lives. We're living in a country where Aboriginal women are losing their lives to the hands of another person. And we're living in a country where every single child held in detention in the Northern Territory is Aboriginal. And some of those, too, are losing their lives. And if they survive, they'll likely be stuck in that continual cycle, in and out of detention, their lives shaped and determined from generations of mistreatment, oppression, and poverty. Now, art and design plays such a huge role in this. Art and design is a way to connect people and it's a way to connect people with information. Now, have you been overseas in a non-English speaking background and tried to order a meal? And you thought you ordered a pizza and it comes out as something completely different? Or worse, have you been in a medical emergency in a non-English speaking country? How do you get help? What do you look for? Symbolism? Infographics? You see, art and design plays more of a role in our history and our culture than you might think. In the last census, in 2016, there were over 150 Indigenous languages spoken. Now, I'm not going to get into how much that has decreased over time, but I do want to make a note that 15% of First Nations people stated that English was their second language. Now imagine even trying to fill out that census, let alone look after your own help, <coughs> health. Art, language and culture, it's so vital in our existence and it's so vital in connecting people. And what we've been doing for so long is not working. You see, as an artist, I work with people and I work with communities and we're sharing stories. You know, I know we're all working really hard to do our best, but the thing is, it's not working. And it is 
You know, it's so fatiguing to try to do the same thing with no result. And I think what we can all understand is we need, as First Nations people, to be in the driver's seat. You know, as non-Indigenous people or people from the wider community, we need to see our bias. We need to sit with it for a while and we re really need to reflect. Because the thing is, like I said, just like this speech that has done me no good today, it doesn't work and we need to do something different. The thing is, for me, connecting people with information can be a matter of life and death. You know, design and art can be a matter of life and death. A lot of us think that art is something that's pretty or something that can hang on the wall. But the thing is, for Aboriginal people and First Nations people, art and design is intrinsically linked to our culture, our identity, and our way of preserving and surviving our culture. And so what I want to say to everyone today is, you know, we need to do things differently. What was done is done and we need to move on. We can all be accountable. But design has a function. Art and design has a function. It's a way of connecting with people. It's a way of telling our stories. And it's a way of being able to speak to people in ways that words can't alone. Art and design is a, another way to overcome systematic and institutionalised racism and division. It is a way of connecting people with information that can save lives. And for me, it's the most underestimated tool in closing the gap. Now, art and design may not come in the package that you think it does. For over 60,000 years and over 3,000 generations, we have been connecting with culture, with storytelling, with art, and like I said, it is fundamentally and intrinsically linked to who we are as Indigenous people. Now, that package, like I said, might not come in the way that you think it will. We've been entrepreneurs, we've been innovators, we've been survivors for 60,000 years. You know, our way of delivering this information and our connection to culture is evolving. Right now, Adobe Suite and a computer, that's connection to culture, that is sharing our stories. And that's what I mean by this package doesn't always come in the way that we once thought. We're adapting as people and we're adapting as a culture, but why are our outcomes staying the same? From the very top and through to the very bottom in all different facets, we need to think differently we need to design differently, and we need to think and connect to information that we haven't ever done before. Art and culture is the way that we can do that. Connecting to the very identity of our First Nations people is how we can all grow and preserve our culture, our environment, and our survival as all people. Now, this TED talk might not have all the answers, and that's okay, because skipping to incorrect assumptions has been the base of all our problems. We need to ask ourselves questions before we can see change. What do you know? Where did you learn it? Who are you speaking with? And what are they saying to you? What is your bias? And how can you be aware of that and shift the norm? Every single one of us, we can think differently, we can design differently, we can create work that is not inclusive to just the untrained eye, but is fundamentally and intrinsically linked to the people that we are speaking to. And that's when we're going to see change. If we have First Nations people designing their own lives and their futures, we will see change because we will be intrinsically linked to that information. Too often we're seeing governments wasting money on resources that don't work. And it is because we are being told what to do, how to do it, but in all of that, we are not often represented or listened to. We need to sit with, 
learn, listen, speak with and understand First Nations people and have First Nations people in that driver's seat. We don't want to be consulted, we want to be heard and understood. So by asking ourselves those questions within our own lives, within our own environments, whether you're in government, whether you're in you know, your own backyard, it is important to ask those questions and see what role you can do in helping Indigenous Australians and First Nations Australians. So for me today, it's not about answering questions, but it's about making sure that we're asking ourselves those questions because I truly believe art, design and the power it has on the cultural lens and the creative industry is going to change our world. It will have a better result on our sense of identity as all people, on our economy and on our environment. Thank you.